Welcome back to the Make or Break Shop. This week we're gonna talk about some gifts that you can get for the woodworker or maker in your life. So here at the Make or Break Shop, the mission is to build DIY projects for people that aren't perfect like me. And one of those things that happens is you wind up buying a lot of tools that may not be perfect as well. So leading up to the holidays, I wanna give you guys some of my top recommendations for some fairly cheap tools, either that you guys can get for yourself for the holidays or for family and friends, kind of in the maker woodworker space. So first up is a three, two, one block. Now these are steel and the name comes from the fact that it's three inches by two inches by one inch. They're just super useful uh, around the shop. You can use them for a ton of different things where if I'm using the table saw, I can use it as a great spacer when I'm cutting out pieces. So I wanna know the exact distance between the piece and the fence. Also, they're great to straight up weights as well as uh, just great almost stands you can put things on top of if you're painting or working on or you can hold materials down but they're also threaded so you can drop screws in here put them together put them onto different things they're almost like the lego of the shop and you can just do tons of really cool things with them so one type of tool that i use more than anything else in the shop are measuring tools whether they're static like this is a, a six inch square from woodpeckers or more of like a combination square to where you can adjust it when i was first getting into woodworking i did not realize how important things like these were going to be whether you're just actually measuring things off or you're wanting to do just 90 degree markings and measuring across a workpiece. These are great for fine detail and to be able to really dial things in. Uh, Woodpeckers is an awesome brand. Uh, they're a little bit more pricey, so uh, this is definitely on the, uh, the higher end of stuff, but uh, their quality as well as their accuracy is really, really good. And then this I wanted to give a recommendation. This is actually a PEC combination square, and I got this from Harry Epstein. Uh, online and they're a really cool website to where they basically get scratch and dent stuff from the manufacturers that they can't just sell straight up and they give it to you for a discount so this one has like a little mark right here which isn't that big of a deal and uh, they send it to you at a discount and plus they draw a picture on the bag which is pretty crazy Next up is something I use a ton to set up my tools, especially at the table saw when I'm doing an angled cut, and that's the uh, Wixie Digital Angle Gauge. Uh, this thing is super valuable on getting anything done on the table saw. One thing that's super nice about it is actually the bottom is magnetic, so it will stick to the blade as it's going, and it just gives you a great readout so you can really dial in, especially in my case when I'm doing this 45 degree cuts or 60 degree cuts to get things knocked out. And this is a, a pretty cheap option and a great stocking stuffer. In one of my more recent videos, we built this entire miner saw station that is behind me. And one of the pieces that I did is I incorporated an area where I could put these multi-part trays inside of. There are expensive versions of these. This is kind of built on the Sortimo idea, but um, this is actually from Harbor Freight and I want to say they're less than $10 a piece. So they're really cheap, but they're super useful. Not only is does it have multiple containers, but these guys will just pop out. And so it is great to get several of these so that can stack on top of each other. And then you can have lots of stuff just organized and you're good to go. They come in different sizes. So I've got a dusty. Actually have a bigger one, but these guys are great. It's actually this one I have all of. My electronic stuff is inside of. They're awesome and they're super cheap. And you can pick those up again at Harbor Frames. All right, next up, we're gonna get more into the protective area. And this is to keep dust out of your face. This is an RZ mask. And what's great about this versus a normal dust mask is that it is soft. It comes with multiple filters that you can put in and they're replaceable. But what's really nice about this is it's pretty comfortable to wear and it's pretty easy to keep with you. What I found is with my other masks that I've got, I just have them hanging up somewhere. They're a hassle to go around on my face. They're super annoying, but this thing is really easy to get on really quick. When I'm working with anything that's got toxic fumes or especially anything that has sawdust, it's super easy just to throw it right on. 
and you kind of look like you're from Mortal Kombat. So I make these college football signs. I sell them on Etsy. And this time of year, it gets pretty, pretty crazy. I actually have an entire video about my process right there. And one thing that you'll notice during that is I am using this mask. This is called Aura Mask, and it is a lifesaver. If you're ever doing something like this where the process is you stain it first, then you put a mask on it, cut it out, and then spray the inside. That's how I get it inside white, and then pull the mask off. If you're using something like blue tape, it works great, but it takes forever to put on, and maybe it doesn't seal exactly. This comes in a bunch of different widths, as well as a bunch of different lengths, and um, it's pretty much like a kind of like a clear plastic film and it's really easy to get back off it's not tacky uh, which is super nice so you don't have to get all the sticky stuff off so this is the aura mask 813 film and it is super super useful if you guys are making signs out there or you know people that are making signs and last but not least we're going to continue on with the measurement theme and this is just a nice pair of digital calipers this is the version that I've got, but there are a bunch of different ones out there that you can check out. Um, this is the iCar IP54. And again, all the links are right down below. If you guys wanna check those out, they're affiliate links, so you do help out the channel. But when I first saw digital calipers, I was like, I'm not doing stuff that's super technical. I don't know if I'd ever use them. And there are countless cases where I find myself needing to get an exact measurement, whether it is the thickness of a board before I send it to my CNC to car out to whether I'm trying to figure out the dimensions of a drill bit because it doesn't have a marking anymore and I'm trying to figure out what size hole I need to do. What's great about these is not only can you measure like this, you can also measure the inside of the hole. You can also get the depth. So going into the Christmas season, not only do you need some great tools or things to put in the stockings, you also need some ornaments to put on a tree. And my favorite tool purchase of the entire year lets me do things like this. This is my 50 watt laser. It's not cheap, but it is pretty incredible what it can do. And we're gonna jump into a full review of that so you guys can check it out and see if it's something that would work for you guys. Until next time, go make or break something in your shop. See you guys.